Right. Give us a one, two, John. A one, two, three, four. Class. <laughs> John, thanks for having us here in your club room. Looking very nice. Yeah, it's looking snazzy, yeah. Um, Is there many photos of you on the wall? Ah, there's a couple there over in the corner there. That early in and the <laughs> mid noughties and I think we won it in 2010 as well. But uh, I don't know, they're, they're nice to be nice to be up in the wall. The yeah. glory years. You're on the microphone here. Are you enjoying doing the bit of commentating these days? Yeah, I love it, yeah. Uh, I suppose, look, I, I couldn't have ever envisaged when I finished up in um, 20, January 2013 that uh, I would go on and, I suppose, be be part of uh, RT Radio. Never envisaged that. Uh, Chip, but you took to it very naturally. You see, you yeah, well, really look, I suppose some lads, I suppose, when they finish up, I suppose it's it's something that they want to pursue, but it was never... An ambition of mine to to um, to go on and, and do radio and TV and it just it just happened in in 2013 May 2013 um, I think it was Robbie Irwin or, or Barry O'Neill the producer asked me would I come up and um, do the analysis of the the Tipperary Kilkenny game in the National League and it just took on a life of its own then would you do would you do much prep now leading up to a match like would you would you ask to do a bit of homework on it or would you just say fuck, ah, hey fuck it we'll just go for it. Like, I know. Look, you'd be you'd be on looking at the old yeah. YouTube clips, and you're probably getting a bit of detail on on, on some of the players. I mean, you couldn't be just going on and not yeah. not knowing anything about any <laughs> any of the players. That's what we know. do, chance. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I suppose, look, the, the, ma- the majority of it then, I suppose, on the day is just is just off the cuff, uh, and the games just take on a life life of their own. Yeah. But you seem to really enjoy it, like, and you're kind of being yourself on it too. You know, some people can be a bit. I don't know, a bit showbiz when they get on the mic, you know what I mean? You seem to be yourself, would you say? Yeah, that's not me. Like, uh, if I go at something, I'll, I'll do it my way or, or I won't do it at all. Like, um, I'm not going to try to be someone that I'm not. I think uh, within the GA, I think there's, there's, there's too much of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, for myself, really, I'm just being myself. Like, uh, I suppose I always said that my biggest achievement uh, within GA is that I've never changed the person. I'm still mm-hmm. the same John Milan that I was since I've been 16 years of age. I think within the GA, uh, you know, some lads can, can win matches, they can win a medal, uh, and they, 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 they start to become people that, 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 that they're not like, you know, and some, some, some lads can, can lose their run themselves. Uh, and thankfully, that, that, that has never happened to me. How did and you do it? How do you keep the feet in the ground? Uh, well, look, I just, I'm just, uh, just a level headed person. I just... Uh, Oh, we've seen you on the sideline, man. Feel no, like, you're not the most level. No, I wouldn't say level headed, but like I, I just, I don't, I don't, I just, I'm not one of these lads that that thinks I'm better than, than anyone else. Like you know, I love going to the games. I always love going and watching matches. It's it's easy to commentate on 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 a good match, and I suppose the radio is is, is a great gig. I, lo- I love doing the radio. Uh, TV just wouldn't be for. For me, I'd have no interest in TV. Go away, you I wouldn't d- chance the Sunday game. No, nah, it's just fancy suits. No, nah, <laughs> putting handkerchiefs down and putting makeup on, and uh, I couldn't be dealing with that, you know. Come on. Uh, no, I ju- genuinely, I couldn't. I couldn't look. It's, it's. Uh, I, I, even other TV um, offers have come into what I do with this or that, and I, I'm kind of reluctant to do it. Like, uh, you know, I'm kind of. I'm a, I'm my own man in that way, like you know, and I just feel at the radio, it's it's a great avenue to, to having a bit of crack and bringing a bit of enjoyment to it, like, and I think that's that's the one beauty about radio, uh, you know, compared to TV. I just think TV is just it's all too it's, it's too serious, and you know, you have to be watching your words, and you know, you don't have to watch them here, anyway. Well, <laughs> no, and I suppose then you have to so, coming in with big words, and that's just. <laughs> That's just that's just not the way that's just not the way I operate. Like, Delicatessen, you know? but yeah, yeah. yeah. pontificate. I heard that said one there. Like, what? Where's he from? Uh, but I don't know. I think that's maybe some part of the reason that like the Waterford fans really seem to take to you more than other players. Like I think you were a bit of a fan favorite. Would you say? Uh, but look, I can I can I can attach myself to uh, to to Waterford supporters. Uh, you know, I suppose ninety eight. I would have been up in the terrace and. One of the lads, you know, having yeah. the all <laughs> drinking the cans and, you know, yeah. and before the match, and you know, roaring, roaring the lads on, and I suppose that's where the grow came from. Um, and uh, you know, I can attach to attach myself to to everyday life in in Waterford, like you know, uh, 
it's, it's it's a great place to live. It's a fantastic place to live. I, I love living in in, in Waterford. Uh, you know, there's unbelievable characters around. The yeah. Panther is good, and um, I can I can I can attach myself to today today a way of of, of thinking. Um, yeah, you and, really and, and what what it, what it kind of means to them, and, and sport plays a plays a massive part in in in, in their lives. Uh, you know, and I was just thankful that I was able to, you know. Giving something back on the field, and um, we have to ask you about that uh, that time that it seemed to spill out of you on television. That in- famous interview where you said you loved the people of Waterford. Yeah, well, look, that was that, uh, 2004, and um, we watched it back yesterday on YouTube yeah. before we came down. <laughs> but oh, the fans, we love it, like the it. fans are around you, and they're just beaming around. You. Just you're, you're, is it Brian Carty is trying to interview you? And it's Tony. Tony, yeah, Tony, Tony Dunno, yeah. yeah. And Tony people Dunno, are just yeah. shouting, yeah. we love yeah. you, John Milan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <Tony. laughs> yeah, and I suppose, look, it was every emotion going through was what they being sent off, and, and, and rightly sent off at the time. Probably knew I was going to miss a, an all in semi-final. I was more relieved than anything else that, you know, the lads were after winning the match and that I, I wasn't after leaving them down. But I suppose pushing on a couple of weeks later, I kind of probably... Did leave them down because, you know, we didn't get over the line in the other semi-final against Kilkenny. I think they lost by three points. Felt they could have made a um, a massive difference that day. And, like, I would have been one of those kids where I grew up in the 80s, 90s, fantastic times. But, you know, they were tough times as well. Nearly put myself into their way of thinking as well. Yeah. And sport is is a, is a great release for, for people. Like, you know, it's like to go off to the matches on Sundays. Like some, some some of them, you know, don't have the luxury of probably going away on on, on on foreign holidays. And I can I can delve into, you know, how they they how, how they are feeling and sport and the hurling it plays a massive part of the part of their lives. When before we came down yesterday we were chatting like obviously about coming down to meet you and we were saying like when we used to be them lads on the terrace, like, drinking cans and, like, roaring abuse, like, probably at you, John, you know, to be honest. <laughs> you know, you broke our heart enough times. But we were saying, when you used to come out, like, and the war for fans, it was like you gave them an extra. They, they all felt 10 foot tall. Like, and we were saying, when you'd have, like, red calves. And we were just wondering, what, what were you baiting yourself inside, or what was... Ah, uh, no, well... I suppose I was really I suppose uh, a man at a table I would have broke up, and up all, <laughs> smashed up and turtles I did a Tipperary County board or saying whenever Waterford are coming to the town they're going to have the bill of a new table no, so no uh, doors on the hinges yeah but look I, I think I think those days are probably gone I think you know lads roaring and shouting in dressing rooms I think you know yeah. lads are probably really educated now I suppose you know yeah. not, not a lot of level, level headed lads but that was just my way of Getting myself up and getting the volume going in the dressing room too, and some things I think you you do you, you do need an awful lot of that. And I suppose over the years, I suppose I would have got you know at every opportunity, I would have felt the need to to get the crowd involved. Yeah. That's probably the one disappointing thing I felt with Waterford this year is that you know I was looking at some of, some of the the performances mm. this year, and I felt they lacked a bit of. Bit of energy fire. and a bit of fire in the body where you know we two home games this year against Clare and Limerick and you're saying to yourself right today is the day where you get the, the crowd involved and I felt you know bar the odd moment or two here and there yeah. um, the, 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 the players never got um, the home crowd involved which was which was probably a bit disappointing I'm you know? sure like when you, when you were playing I'm sure your generation would have killed for a game in Walsh Park <laughs> Hundred percent, and and I was only saying that the the morning I woke up, the morning of the Clare game, um, and to see the carnival atmosphere around. Yeah. Since I retired, there was never one game where even the All Ireland final two years ago, where I said, "Geez, I'd love to be playing today." But even this year, uh, you know, waking up the morning of the Clare game, driving around, I said to myself, "I said, geez, I'd, I'd give me left arm to be playing today." Like yeah. you know, and I think you know it will come again that you know Welsh Park will become a, a difficult venue. I just hope. Um, that they push on with the development of, of Welsh Park. The Waterford manager's job is currently vacant. <coughs> Are you putting the name forward, John? Most certainly not. No, <laughs> no I, I, I don't like I don't like stress in my life. <laughs> uh, I don't do stress. So um, no, no interest. No, I'm fifty to one. So uh, hey, don't, go for it. don't even have a fiver on it or a tenner on it. So uh, no, it's 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 not something I I have 
in any time in the near future getting involved in in inter county management. Um, Were you surprised when you saw Big Dan going in as a selector? No, I wasn't because um, I suppose like I always felt Big Dan would 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 play a part. Um, he nearly looked like he was going to actually play a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose. Uh, but look, he was, it, it was great to see him running out, out, out the field. He was there for five years, played a massive part with Watford, played a massive part in, in Derek's backroom team. There's talks now that he's in the running to, be, to become manager, whether he will be up for that or not. But I would most certainly think that, that Dan Shannon will, will, will get involved again yeah, in some capacity. Okay. Um, some other managers that have come through your time, Davy Fitzgerald, of course, uh, with Wexford now. I wonder will he stay on? Any thoughts? Oh, I think he'll he'll definitely stay on in um, Wexford. I do. I think. I think. I think they're a, they're a perfect match. Wexford love him. Davy Davy loves Wexford. Albeit it's it's year three. He spent five years with us, but uh, I think he'd want to be a very foolish man to walk away from that project. I don't think they're too far away. You've seen it against Tipperary yeah. in your own county. Was it Davies' first year with yourselves? He actually got to the All Ireland. Got to the All Ireland final. Um, came in on, on after 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 Justin. Yeah. Like, um, must and I be... suppose the circumstances that he had to come in under were were probably quite difficult too. And to be fair to him, he came in probably at a time where an awful lot of the team we're probably coming to the end of it. Really, really top class players. So he kinda had he had a bit of a rebuilding job to do as well. And he had us competitive for the for the four years, five years that he was there. Like we, we reached four all in semi finals. We won um a Munster Championship in twenty ten, which was a massive achievement mm. considering we were after being hammered in the in the All Ireland final against Kilkenny. And he had us knocking on the door in a couple of uh, league campaigns as well, you know. But when Waterford got to the All Ireland that year it seemed just we were in tip now looking at it. It seemed like the hype and the excitement and all was off the Richter scale down here, was it? Yeah, it just totally went all totally it was totally went out of control. Um so What was going like, on around the place like? Oh well look, it was the first time since nineteen sixty three, I suppose Jeez. the team that we were we played in throughout the ni- throughout the noughties, late nineties, they were craving to get to an all Ireland final. Um, we were knocking on the door for so long and I suppose we finally um, got over the line and got got into the final. Probably got to the final the wrong year. Um, probably caught Tipperary in that semi-final. If it was probably probably our best period to get to the to the final, probably would have been, I suppose, between 98 and probably 2007. And I suppose it came then in 2008 and I suppose probably in the, in the lead up to it, totally... I think if you look back in it, Dave Fitzgerald totally would have done things different. Players probably would have done things different. Um, myself would have approached it in a totally different way. I well, suppose we didn't have the experience. If we had the experience yeah, yeah. of getting there probably in 2002, 2003, it would have stood to us going forward uh, in, in those those years in the mid noughties. But to get there then, and you had, didn't have the experience before, and then you're coming up against Kilkenny, who have been, been there, done yeah. it, going for three in a row at the time. Yeah. Uh, probably they were at their peak. I mean, that day, I mean, they had Michael Fenley, Richie Hogan, TJ Reid. I know him would have been. Three, yeah. three future hurler <laughs> years on the, on, on, on the bench. So um, it was a mammoth task, but uh, unfortunately we didn't perform on the day. And, and uh, you just talked about the approach. <clears throat> like, what way did you approach it that you would change it if you had your time over? I think we would probably close ourselves off from 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 the from the from from the general public um, an awful lot more. Uh, I think we had two two open days, um, open sessions with the train, and it was just it was crazy. Now you know it was banana kissing babies. And you know fucking. it was bananas off the Richter scale, uh, and it was hard to kind of you know keep the headness. break yourself away and realize hey you know we're actually playing a match in 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 two or three weeks yeah. time Why does the hype it was, it was, it was like a bit like uh, it was a, kind of a bit like uh, you know Rocky Tree against you know <laughs> uh, when were we, who, what was his name Hubert Clang what was his name Clubber Lang Clubber, yeah. Clubber <laughs> Lang yeah you know he's at the being the champion and he was at the final you know, and next thing he was getting paraded around here and paraded around there yeah. and totally took his eye off the ball and then just got hit with a bang <laughs> you know and got Hey, well, we got hit with a 
bang, 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 bang. <laughs> you must have been wrecked after. <laughs> <laughs> but like you say, you've seen it all from the late nineties coming through to the noughties, and even towards the end, then when it was like almost ultra professional. I suppose Davey and other coaches are people are saying that they're they've brought it to a new level now of professionalism. Like the thing that we keep thinking ourselves is like, you know how great Harlem was before you had to wear a helmet when it was like more more kind of more heart I think in it I think the goods nearly gone over now for, for players as in is the it crack gone, like yeah the crack has it gone too fucking serious yeah, yeah well it's an awful lot of it's programmed yeah. uh, you know and I suppose you have the world of social media then as well Facebook Twitter yeah I suppose, uh, probably the characters are still there but I suppose they are probably mindful of probably afraid to show themselves. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, nowadays the world you're looking like. I mean, if you're going out in a pub now. I mean, you're going for going into the toilet. I mean, you're going for going for a wee. Yeah, you have a camera up in your face and you yeah. kind of turn around and saying to the fellow, "What the fuck are you at?" Like, yeah, you know? you go after I mean, me by you. Know, but that's that's. <laughs> I mean, I'm so glad that I I didn't. Well, it was coming to the tail end of it that yeah. that Twitter and Facebook came on the came on the rise, and then I suppose then you had the. The, 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 the camera phones like I mean, it's probably they're good for the world but they're probably the ruination of the world too um, I mean you didn't you wouldn't have got away with stuff oh Jesus come on I mean I could tell you s- s- stories I mean well, s- you know. <laughs> s- s- stuff I mean you wouldn't dare to dream doing it if you had a if you had a video or a yeah. or a camera phone stuck stuck up in, in, in your face or you know I mean you have to be I mean that's why there's plenty of characters probably within these teams but no one, no one knows about. But they, they have to watch every move now, you know, because I I people, mean, they're totally yeah. under the microscope. They're really like celebrities, like in in, in a certain way, like these lads are really built up to be like squeaky clean. They all and then we're too hard on them, I think. Yeah, a hundred percent. For lad, seen going on a few pints, rant, and everyone's on his back, like you know. Yeah. yeah well, look, I suppose, uh, but but what I would say, the game has has gone to a totally uh, new level now. Even from when I finished up six years ago, it's 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 totally gone up a, a, another level again and you're just saying, you're saying to yourself you know where is it going to be in the next five ten years because yeah. it, it, the, the standards just keep rising and rising and rising i mean do you think so like that the, the, the kilkenny team of now would they have bet the kilkenny team of 15 years ago no no chance so no but, but look but look but look but what do you mean overall the standard what, is what i would say to, you, but to, to, to answer that question I don't think any team would be that team. The yeah. pick of Ireland wouldn't be that team. I mean, okay. throughout the test of time, I mean, if we're still here in 30, 40 years' time, we'll be still talking about that Kilkenny team as being the greatest team of all time, in, the in, 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 in my opinion. You know, you famously said in the last time Waterford got to the in the final that you'd ride a horse <laughs> down the street naked <laughs> if they won. Well, you, would you done it for the crack? Like? Out, Down out. the keys, but I can see well, it now. Well, what happened there? I blame Pat Spillane for that because we were up at the we were up at the um, the launch actually for 2017, and Pat Spillane said, uh, you know, it's, he said if if anyone outside of Mayo, Kerry, and Dublin uh, were to win the football Ireland, that he would ride in ride in on a horse. Yeah. Uh, into the, into the winning county. You okay. had a chance of that war. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 yeah. So. <laughs> But lo and behold, Annie, anyway, sure, I was having a bit of bit of crack at the time, you know. And I said, Jesus, I'd have water win it. I said, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd ride down the, I'd ride down the, the key naked on a horse. But then it just took on a, a whole life of its own. I never and wanted then, Warford to win a match so much. <laughs> oh, but but you know what? I I, I said to myself, I was I was going to do it. Yeah. Um, I actually had money raised for charity as well. Ah, I had nice. I had a considerable amount of money raised for charity. Uh, now look. I wouldn't have gone. Yeah. Obviously, I wouldn't have. Would have had to cover up. So would have went full bear back. <laughs> <laughs> what, did the, what did herself say about it? What could she say? I, like I'm, I'm a man of my world. Like I would have had to. Would have had to follow you. And every every person was was you know kept from me. You know, <laughs> and you know they were winning the game after game, and next thing it was. But you know what? It just it became a bit of a bit of a crack yeah, and a yeah, laugh, right. and that's what life is about. Like it's it's all about having a laugh and yeah. a bit of crack. Yeah. Before we finish, we do a quick fire round with all of our guests. So I'm Johnny, gonna... Johnny's gonna. All right, John, are you ready for the quick fire round? Yep, fire away. Yep. We'll start you off nice and easy. All right, good stuff. Tea or coffee? Oh, coffee. Favorite pub in Watford? Casbah. It is a good spot. Yeah. Sunday game pundits: Dalo or Don Loke? Oh, Dalo all the way. Dalo boy. Marty or Brian Carty? Oh, put me on the spot there. Yeah, boy. 
Jesus. I kicked it off. I kicked it off. Sorry, Marty. I kicked it off with Brian Carradine. So I'm going to go. Uh, I did my first commentary with Brian Carradine. So I'll go with Brian. Uh, okay. Brian. Uh, Noel McGrath or John McGrath? <whistles> Who would you rather have in your team? Oh, I think Noel. Uh, Noel. Noel, right. Um, soccer or rugby? Soccer. Chippers, Istanbul or Dooley's? Oh, Dooley's all the way. Yeah. A breakfast blah or a breakfast roll? Oh, I'd have to go breakfast blah. Blah, boy. <laughs> Venga boys or Wolf Tones? <laughs> ah, the Wolf Tones, yeah. Your, your shot of choice, a Vodka Red Bull or a Jägerman? Oh, a Vodka Red Bull. Yeah, all the way so back. <laughs> Morning stuff, keep, keep us awake. Beat or WLR? Uh, WLR. Declan Nurney or Jimmy Buckley? Jimmy Buckley. Grania Shoga or Beyonce? Oh, Grania all the Gran- way. <laughs> <laughs> Thought an Irish and everything, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather a holiday in Tremor or Tenerife? Oh, there's too many English in Tenerife. <laughs> yeah. Tremor all the way. Although we've a lot of dubs down in Tremor <laughs> now, so they're yeah. just as bad. So no, I'll go with Tremor. <laughs> Waterford win in All-Ireland or you win the lotto? You know what? Money doesn't, money doesn't mean everything to me. I, I, I would go... Waterford winning the All-Ireland would be like winning the lotto. So, and I think the, the enjoyment that will bring to an awful lot of people... I go off for win the honour. I think that perfectly sums you up, John. You're some legend. Fair play. Thanks a million for that. You, you could buy a lot of people a lot of rounds. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have some night in the Casbah, lad. <laughs> you make your own. Me and McCarthy, lad. <laughs> John, thanks a million. No Cheers, matter, lad. Man.